Welcome back guys. In today's session we are going to see uh, what are the toolbars available into the VA system. As it is mandatory to know all the toolbars since the user needs to use all these toolbars while doing the transactions into the VA system. So let's move on and see what are all the toolbars available into the VA system. So into the VA system there are three toolbars available as follows. That is the top toolbar, the field toolbar and the right toolbar. Into the top toolbar you would be able to see the back button. This is the back button used to move back to the grid view. The another button is basically the undo changes that undo the record in the respective tab. Then we have the new record so it is used to add a new record or a row. Then we have a delete record so that would be utilized delete the existing record if no child records were created. Then we have the save changes. We would be able to save the changes. Thereafter, we have requery. This is the refresh button used to refresh the records. Then we have the report. It is used to pull the reports in PDF, CSV, etc. Once user clicks on this icon, new window with report name will open. And the last one is the print. So let me, you know, you can now would be able to see it is the print button and that is used to take the print of the reports and the records okay the next one is available onto the right side it is a right toolbar so the first one which we are talking about is the main toolbar available onto the left side the top of the window while the next one is basically the right toolbar it is available at the right side onto the top of the window so you would be able to see a lookup record so this is an advanced search option and used to search the records while by entering the respective parameters or the search criteria. Then we have the search button. This option is used to search the records into the respective tab. The field that contains drop down list cannot be searched by this option. Also the checkbox will never be searched by this option. Only the fields that are string or aware gap would be search by this particular search. A user has to use the lookup record in case if you want to search based on a checkbox based on a drop down. So you just need to use the lookup record. Thereafter, there is a filter record. So this option allows to search the records into the respective window. So that is the filter. But there is a difference between a filter and the lookup record that we will discuss later on in some other video. While there is a settings, so this option is opens the settings and you would be able to set your preferences. Thereafter, we have the uh, right toolbar. So this option is used to open your right toolbar and then we have the close. So this is the close button. The next is basically onto the window at the top, there is a tab toolbar. So you would be able to, you know, uh, click onto these arrow keys that would uh, utilize to move the selection to the previous row or to the next record. Then we have the grid toggle. So this option shows the record into a list view. Then we have a uh, grid toggle. This option shows one selected record at a time. Then we have a card view. This is used to see the records into the grid view. So that is uh, not into the grid view, but into the card view, okay? The next one is uh, basically the field toolbar. So at the level of the field, you would be able to see few toolbars. That is Zoom. It is used to open the respective window, especially when you use to make the changes being in that window. Then the preferences. So preferences is used to check column ID and the table ID details. Then we have the uh, refresh button. It is used to refresh the changes, especially when you make the changes being in that particular window. Add is basically is used to add the new master record from the transaction window. Then we have the update, it is to update the existing master record. Then we have the clear, clear that is basically used to clear the value from, selected value from that particular field. Then we have the right toolbars. Into the right toolbar, there is an appointment. So it is used to generate the appointment from the windows. Then we have the task. It is used to generate the task for the user or the team from the window. Then we have email. So it is used to send the email from the window to the business partners. Then we have the letters. 
It is used to generate the letters that are often used at that particular window. The SMS it is used to send the SMS from the window to the business partner. And the next is the chat. It is used to chat with the other user in the organization. The other user get the notification at the landing page if subscribed to that particular record. Then we have the attachment. It is used to attach documents that are relevant to the transactions. Then we have the check request. It is used to generate the request for the user related to the transaction. Then the workflow, it is used to check the workflow history at the level of the transaction. Then we have the copy record, it is used to copy the existing record. Then on to the right toolbar, you would be able to see sus subscribe records. It is used to sub subscribe the transaction record. Then you have the zoom across, it is used to zoom into the record that is generating based on the transaction automatically by the system. Then you have the import map which opens your Excel import utility and you would be able to map your Excel template uh, with the system and import the data. Then you have the private record access. So it is used to record, it is used to log the record from the uh, other roles and the users. Then you have the record access. It is used to access the record that is logged for some other roles and the users. So these are basically the toolbars available uh, into the VA system at the level of the windows. The important thing is the right toolbar is user controllable since your admin user would be able to make the changes whichever the toolbar are not needed into the right side then that can be hide it from the admin user. Okay, So that is what's the difference between the right left toolbar and onto the left at the top uh, toolbar you won't be able to do anything at yourself because that is hard coded somewhere into the code okay now let's move quickly into the system and i just want to showcase you all the toolbars so here we have the customer master window opens so if you would be able to see so this is the top toolbar that we have discussed so you would be able to see and do uh, the new record, the delete, the save, the refresh of the requery, the report and the print record. While onto the right side you would be able to search, that is look up. Then you have the search which we have already gone through into the PPT. Then you have the filter. So if you want to do the filter you would be able to place filters here. If you want to use the advanced lookup then you would be able to filter at any of the column. And if you want to search a certain certain particular record, so presently we have three records. If I will say I want to search standard, so I will say standard since standard is written in one of the string fields. So I would be able to search it out, but I won't be able to search out the record based on organization or team in because these are the drop down. So if I will enter here standard, so you would be able to see the system is filtering accordingly. Then we have this cog wheel that is basically opens further uh, options. You want to see the help of the of a particular uh, field, then you click here and the system will open the help. Thereafter, uh, the preference, uh, if you want to set your preferences, you would be able to set your preferences using this preference. And uh, then we have the card view. So if I want to see the card view, then I would be able to enable or enable the card view and I would be able to set up my card view here. So it, right now the template is black because there is no settings done for the card view. Now the next is uh, you, you would be able to move on to the next record or to the uh, or to the previous records using these, these arrow keys. Uh, then you would be able to see that is a grid view that contains uh, all the records. If you will click here, then there is a single layout view. Okay. And apart from that, you would be able to see the card view as well. So this is basically the card view. And if somebody wants to edit the card view, they would be able to edit the card view accordingly here. So let me move back here. Now onto the right side, as I mentioned, there are many of the things would be there. There are certain actions here. The actions are basically a process is enabled here, the couple of process and thereafter you would be able to see all these toolbars. So that is the appointment, email, letter, SMS. So you would be able to do whatever you want to do. So if I want to do the appointment, I would be able to click and system will load the appointments. Okay. And uh, load the calendar and you would be able to you know raise your appointments. So that is how uh, the system used to you know, uses all these, these records. 
So uh, that is the right toolbar and this right toolbar is user controllable. So if I don't want to showcase something here, I would be able to do so. So that is how you would be able to set up you know, the right toolbar. So you just need to log in into a system administrator and you would be able to set up. Set out the things uh, uh, based onto the user preferences. Okay. So uh, that is how I would be able to you know, use all these toolbars and uh, uh, thereafter uh, you, know, uh, you just need to remember uh, and memorize that all these toolbars are always important uh, for the user to utilize uh, to reduce their entries, to reduce their entry time and once the user is habitual with all these toolbars it would be easier for the user to do the transaction very quickly and efficiently into the system. So that's all uh, in this particular video. Uh, we will see you into the next video. Till then, bye-bye, ciao.